Okay, uh, <clears throat> I kind of have my brake apart now. Uh, it came apart relatively easy. Um, this shaft and the drum itself went through the brake and then it come out this side. Uh, this gear slid on. It just slid on. It didn't wasn't any big deal. There's no indexing to it so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, even the nut was loose. I just took the cotter pin out. I'm going to use the same cotter pin. Um, I'm going to have a look at this drum. The drum looks okay. Um, it's not broken or bent or anything. There's no seals on these again. Uh, like uh, like uh, to your typical John Deere stuff it has a mechanical seal which is like uh, a lip and then a lip and then a lip kind of a thing so it's a, kind of a redundant way where the oil can't possibly come out of it. Um, it looks like uh, looks like it's been greased a lot or uh, or something and uh, quite a bit of grease and gunk has been kind of sp spooging out here so probably what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to take these springs off and take these I'm going to make sure my adjuster adjusts make sure to adjust oh before I uh, before I uh, took the drum off I took the adjuster and I shot it with a little bit of lubricant and then uh, I moved it backed it up all the way if yours won't back up and you can't get your drum off you can take a piece of hardwood and lay it down on the ground and then drop that right on there you might want to screw the nut on it first you could do that too um, and then drop it and it'll probably pound this away from these away from these brake shoes the the brake brake linings themselves have uh, uh, well let's face it folks this isn't an indie car so you know the brake linings are if they're there you're okay <laughs> Uh, it has linings on it. They're probably an eighth of an inch, maybe a little better, but uh, that's enough for me. That'll stop me. So I'm going to take these off, take the springs out, make sure my adjuster works, clean up all my, uh, clean up my shoes, and uh, put this daddy-o back together and adjust it, and I'll probably have some pretty good brakes. Might even, uh, might even do a little, uh, do a little fan job. On the on the drum, and I might even do a little after I get these cleaned off sand sand job on the on the brake pads themselves, just to give them a little bit better bite. I think what's happened here is it looks like somebody's really greased it because <laughs> it has a zerk on it. I think it has a zerk on it. I can't remember where. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, it has a oil, has a little oil deal that you can tip this up. You want to probably make sure that this is cleaned out as well, and that 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 will accept oil and oil it. It probably oils that bushing. It's probably some sort of packing. Looks like there's a lot of gook and. Let's see here. Yeah, a lot of spooge. So we'll clean that all up, and then we'll do the other side as well. Um, I'm going to probably take this gasket off. The gasket's in broken, but I'm just going to use the same old gasket. Clean the gasket up and put some uh, put some uh, some of that sealant on it, and it'll be fine. Because I don't have another gasket, I could probably cut another one, but you know, yeah, <laughs> I think it'll be fine. <laughs> 